lights, camera, action. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another monthly favorites video. I totally dropped the ball last month. There was just a lot going on and honestly, I really hadn't really bought anything new or had anything to talk about. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna skip it. Here I am back with August favorites. I have a couple things that I wanna highlight, but not too, too much stuff. I feel like I just like haven't really been buying a lot of stuff, which is not the worst thing in the world, but I do have some things to give away. So stay tuned till the end of the video for an awesome giveaway of products that I've been loving. So stay tuned for that. First up, I gotta call out this shirt that I'm wearing. This is a friend's company. It's called Jonah J. I've been wearing the shirt a ton. I get a little bit sad in San Francisco because people don't really dress up and don't get me wrong, I love my Lululemons, I love like being casual, but sometimes I just wanna put on something nice that's also really comfortable. So this is from her line of vegan leather products. What I love most about it, truthfully, is that I don't have to wear a bra. And I don't know if you guys can tell, maybe you can tell, but I'm definitely not wearing a bra right now and that's how I like it. I hate wearing bras, so I like anything that makes me look a little bit dressed up, but it's also super comfortable. So shout out to Jonah J. I'll her products below and while we're on the topic of clothing these jeans gonna be kind of hard to show you right now but I will insert a clip here these are the Levi's 501 skinnies I believe um, it's funny because they're supposed to be like skinny jeans but they totally fit like boyfriend jeans um, which is weird because I got the size that I normally get but I actually really like them that way so I would recommend if you want them to be like super skinny high-waisted um, definitely size down probably like two sizes but if you go for your regular size you're gonna get kind of a boyfriend look and I actually really like that so I have been wearing these a ton pretty much in like every Instagram picture you've seen in the last couple of months that's what I've been wearing because I love them so let's move on to some beauty products haven't bought a ton lately but I did really want to talk about the lip color that I'm wearing so this is Madame Mina from Ilia. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen me talk about this. You know that I love, love, love Ilia lipsticks. I have quite a little collection going on, but this is my latest purchase. I'm so happy I bought this one. It's kind of like a, a very nude sort of subtle color. I wanted something that was like everyday that wasn't gonna like take away from the rest of my face, if you know what I mean. You know when you wear something that's like a little bit brighter, um, that's where your eyes go to. I wanted something that just sort of like blended in with the rest of my face and the rest of my makeup. So that's why I got it and I've been wearing it a ton. It's really easy, it's super moisturizing. When it comes to lipsticks in the green beauty world, you can do no wrong with Ilia. So next up, I wanted to talk about this eyeliner from Well People. It's in kind of a plum color. If you have brown eyes, I highly recommend using like a purple plum color. I like to use it on sort of the like under lids of my eyes. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it just helps your brown eyes pop. I'm sure it would look really great on other eye colors, but I don't know because I only have brown eyes. If you do have brown eyes, I really, really love using a purple. Brown eyes kind of get a, a rep for being sort of boring, so I like being able to play around with some color. I've been trying out a lot of eyeliners. I love the liquid eyeliner from 100% Pure. Um, I've talked about it in my Green Beauty starter kit, but I've been playing around with some um, like pencil liners, and I will say this isn't like as creamy as conventional eyeliners are like compared to like the green beauty world it definitely is not as like creamy and sm creamy and smoothie Ooh, I kind of want a smoothie <laughs> definitely not as uh, smooth as sort of the conventional ones if you guys have green beauty eyeliners that are pencil that you really really like let me know in the comments below because I want to try them out um, in terms of color I love this one in terms of consistency it could use a little bit of work but it's it really like you kind of need to break it in a little bit. I find now that I've used it a bunch, it goes on a lot smoother. So uh, let's move on to, I feel like I need to make this a whole category of its own, but essential oils, specifically sage essential oils. So this month I have been nonstop diffusing the Goddess Blend. I just love the smell. It has jasmine in it. As you guys know, I love the smell of jasmine. It's like my favorite smell in the entire world. That and Neroli. I'm not sure if there's Neroli in this. I feel like there might be. Oh yes, there is Neroli in it. So that must be why I really love the scent. Definitely my favorite lately. I diffuse it all day. It feels like very calming and relaxing, which I really like to fill my home with that sort of vibe. So let's move on to food, or in this case, instead of food, I'm doing beverages. Um, more tea, more tea, more tea. Uh, the Puka tea. 
So I love Puka Tea, but the Love Blend, definitely my favorite. You've probably seen it in a lot of my What I Eat in a Day videos. It's what I drink at the end of the day to kind of calm down, relax. It, there's chamomile in it and organic rose and lavender. So it's really soothing, nice for the end of the day. And just, it tastes really good. I add a little scoop of some raw honey and mm, that's the way I like it. Um, and this is the turmeric golds, which I keep calling turmeric glow and I don't know why, but um, this one is a mix of turmeric, lemon and green tea. So there is a little bit of caffeine in it. I think it's 20% green tea so it's not super caffeinated but I try to not drink caffeine like after two o'clock so I'll drink this like in mid-morning or something when I just want like a nice warm drink but also turmeric is really good for you and it's really anti-inflammatory and I actually really like the taste of it so I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a good new tea and I'm bringing back another favorite I was like man, my like food category is really lacking. You would think I like don't eat any food based on my favorites, but the truth is I eat a lot of like local fresh ingredients. I've been eating a ton of salads this summer, um, just things that I can get access to from you know the farmer's market or my CSA or any of like the grocery stores that I pick up stuff from. Um, so I haven't been like eating that much like other food. I think the biggest ones are definitely Larissa's Kitchen, which I've talked about before and then Health Aid Kombucha in Maca Berry. I've talked about this in a favorites video, but man, do I love this so, so much. I also really like the California grape flavor. Those are my two favorites, I would say. Um, but when it comes to kombucha, these are my favorites. They're pretty low in sugar, and I don't have like a huge issue with there being a ton of sugar in it. I know that it's sugar like that's added for the like bacteria to eat. More than anything, I just don't like super sweet things. I'm not like, I don't, I have a sweet tooth, but it's like a very low threshold sweet tooth. So I can't drink things that are like very, very sweet. Um, I usually like to like dilute it with a little bit of fizzy water, but I can drink this one straight up. I usually only drink about half of one at once. Otherwise I find my stomach gets a little gurgly because it's a lot of probiotics. So if any of you guys are like interested in getting into kombucha or adding some sort of probiotic into your diet, definitely take it slow. Don't like go full force drinking like three kombuchas a day because that's going to get things really moving. It's going to be a little intense. So that's just my heads up. I know not that many favorites this month, but like I said, just like haven't been buying that much, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, but I did want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and supporting me. I know I've been kind of MIA lately and I just have felt bad about that. And I'm really trying to give myself space so I can be creative and bring you guys more videos and podcasts and blog posts and all of that amazing, awesome stuff. I do need a little bit more time in order to make that happen. So I just wanted to say thank you for being patient with me. Thank you to all of you guys who have supported me through this. And if you guys are new here and you wanna hang out for a while, this one is for you. So if you're already subscribed to my channel, comment below letting me know which of these products that you wanna try. If you are new here and you aren't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and let me know. And I guess I should probably tell you what you're gonna win. So I went through all of the stuff that I'm giving away this month and I'm actually going to give one of each to all of you with the exception of the clothing because I don't know your sizes and it's really hard to go out and purchase stuff when you don't know people's sizes. So you will get a lipstick from Ilia either the Madame Mina or the Perfect Day, uh, whichever one you prefer, so let me know, because um, those are my two favorites. The eyeliner from Well People in Plum, the Goddess Blend from Sage, and some tea from Puka Tea. I'm not gonna be giving away um, any of the Health Aid Kombucha, because that's really hard to ship, uh, but to say sorry for no clothing and no kombucha, I have two other things for you. I'm gonna be giving away one of my favorite face masks, which is the Blue Tansy Mask from Herbivore, and then a Pocket Pharmacy from Sage. You've heard me talk about both of these. You know that I love them. Um, so I just wanted to give it to one a lucky person. So this giveaway will be done next week, next Friday, which I believe is the 7th or the 8th. It's the 7th or the 8th. I don't know. I'm going to leave everything below in the description box. So check it out there. You can find out more about all of these products. As a reminder, in order to enter the giveaway, you need to be subscribed to the channel and you need to just comment below letting me know which product you're most excited to try. So I'm really excited to connect with more of you and to be able to share some of the stuff that I've been loving with all of you guys and just say thank you. It was my birthday last week. So this is like my birthday gift to all of you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.